How you doing, guys? This is Anna Bookstore. Is, am I pronouncing it right? Yeah. First of all, tell us about the name. Why, why Anna? Anna? Anna is my mother's name. Okay, that, that's that's nice. Yeah, Anna is my mother's name. I'm following her for a very long time. And uh, she's been working somewhere. <laughs> and yeah. I am running this shop here 40 years after I left it, Braspasa Road. Second bookshop. And previous shop was Modern Bookstore, where the shop house was before and now become hotel rentables okay mm -hmm. now do you rent or do you own this location i have i ran the shop for almost 40 years i have since i left brass pasaro straight away i come here and my owner of this shop is very good and flexible so he doesn't want to let me go he said please you don't go you pay my rent i like to see you here and this uh, bookshop, one of the best bookshops in Paris Father, or I think it's in Singapore. <laughs> That's wonderful. So 40 years, now what have been some business lessons that you can impart? Uh, huh? Just some, some lessons about business, like about running a business oh, that you business, can I... give advice on. Okay. In Singapore, for, for someone like, let's say you're Singaporean, you want to open up a business and you want to run a successful business for 40 years. Uh, Do you have any like maybe have, lessons? If you have, no, it, before you need a license. Okay. Now you don't need license, just register a company. You go to, uh, we call the Accra. So you want to open a business, you just go down there and uh, approve your whatever name, then you can open a shop anywhere in Singapore. But you know, it's very difficult to run a bookstore because it's such, the margins are so low. Uh, How have you managed to be so successful after 40 myself, years? I'm old time you see? So I got a lot of followers and customers are following me there. And uh, now bookshop are getting less. I most probably in Singapore have a few bookshop survival. I'm one of them. <laughs> and, and you credit that to superior customer service? Big what, what do you credit that that survival to? Survival, C customer customers, service? Yeah, customer service is most important. Okay. I'll offer them a coffee or tea, whether they buy or not. But they're very nice. I also very nice to them. But I have a loyal and good customers. I have customers from Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, and India, and some other countries. How do they find out about you? I'm, I'm just looking at your at your business card. There's no, uh, there's only, there's no website. Uh, and there's have, just a phone number. Oh uh, yes, they pass it, the word. Pass the word, like you, you, if you buy books. Word of mouth. Yeah, uh, word of mouth. Uh, you go to this bookshop, you, you can find a lot of things here. So. Yes, okay. I was in like, Channel Asia, they put in newspapers, they find me internet and uh, YouTube, all these. Oh, you do have a YouTube? I don't have a YouTube, they put for me. <laughs> Other people, like like for example, this interview will go on idea. YouTube. In Facebook, so I don't put anything. People, my own honorable and loyal customer, they put for me. So That's wonderful. I respect them. How do you get up, How do you get so many different books? Uh, since uh, I'm... Forty years, I have my own collections. I have my own collections. I have about 30, 40 boxes of books in my store. So once the stock finish, I bring them here. And I don't buy new books. I only have, buy old books. Second hand, which is uh, relevant. And like, you can see like 30 years ago. Okay. The books I buy. So I you, don't buy recent books. You've built uh, essentially a reserve yeah. over forty years. Yes. And it, it, was, was it easier to buy books, you know, forty, you know, thirty years ago versus today? Uh, easier. No, I have enough stock. I don't buy also, one, but, but sometimes they exchange with me the books. So, so you really kind of maxed. You've maxed out. Whenever you see a book that you think might be useful, even if you don't have space, you add it to your inventory, uh, if, it's at, if you can buy it at, at a good price. I buy whatever I want, I look, I pay good price. Which other thing, I don't want. The customer leave your uncle, I leave you here, whatever you do. But I do donation. I do donation to other people. Like Indonesia or somewhere around, I do donation. They come and collect, they take donation, which I cannot sell, why not? Give them some, do something for the poor people. Mm -hmm. I'm going in Indonesia, so if you have something to give me, I can I can give it to the local. Oh, okay, before you go, you come and see me. <laughs> of before course. you go, which part of the world are you going? Uh, Lombok or what? Uh, no, I'm going to Jakarta. Oh, Jakarta, okay. Before you go, you just come in. 
by by you must sure that they have a orphanage people you know mm -hmm. you give to poor people orphanage you know orphanage uh, okay. like no father mother okay you give to these people better okay like like orphans orphans yes okay orphanage. we call it orphanage like, here, like, like the prophet muhammad uh yeah we orphanage you know like no father mother you know they don't have anybody you know so give the children it's good that's nice mm -hmm. um so you've built up an, an inventory over the years uh, where did you buy your books in the past? Uh, I have a stock in my house and I have some... What did you build that? How did you build that stock? No, this stock is old stock. I have my own stock. Did you did you collect it when you were... When you were? Uh, when I was a uh, Ras Pasar, the old time modern bookstore was there. So uh, I have some lot of old books and good books I collect. So when other bookstores were closing down, would they sell you their inventory? Uh, I I don't take buy their books because I have my own I have my own uh, title and authors what I can sell what my customer want demand I'll buy from them for them that's it. <laughs> okay, so so you you've built up. I mean, one thing that's impressive is is that you've got a, a nice history section over here on on Asian history, but you also have children's books. I have everything here. You have everything? Everything. I have comics. You mentioned A to Z, all I have that. What are your most popular books? My book, my, I don't read much that book. I read only joke books, only, because I'm not a serious person. They call me Mr. Bean of Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ro Akins and the British. But I read some, some joke books. I, I talk to the children. They are so very happy with me. Uncle, you are nice and good. So sometimes I get good customers. They'll say, go this way, this guy, very friendly guy. A nice guy, good guy, go and see him, support him. <laughs> it sounds like it's really all about the personal relationships that you've built up. I've noticed, I'm noticing this, this photo over here. Can you tell us a little bit about this photo of LKY? Okay, this, this photo is my father's follower. And I saw follow because this guy is built Singapore when he was separated from Malaysia. He himself struggled for us, for Singaporean. Mm -hmm. So that's how we are here now. Mm -hmm. I respect him. <laughs> and actually, I'm noticing a, uh, the PAP logo oh, yeah, on yeah. the bobblehead, and of course, the Mr. Bean yeah. and uh, bobblehead as well. And that's because you're known as the Mr. Right, Mr. Bean. <laughs> about Mr. Bean. I noticed that in the article over here as well. And you talked about doing this for 40 years. This is how old, how old are you in this photo? Oh, uh, this was maybe when I was. 30 years ago, most probably. <laughs> <laughs> Long time. Yeah. Do, do you plan on um, on just keeping this bookstore for as long as possible, or do you plan on passing it to your children or someone else? Depend on my health. If my health, my hand and two leg and two hands is moved, I'll be here next some years. <laughs> you'll, you'll continue as long as possible? Yes. As soon as I'm 70, but some people, they don't believe you are 70 years old. No, you must be 60. What is the secret behind? I say, I tell you, can I juice in the morning? <laughs> They'll laugh. <laughs> They'll laugh. Because I'm not a serious, I'm not funny. I'm very funny guy. I'm not that. Why well, should be in this world serious? Mm -hmm. Life is short. You're honest. Don't tell lies, don't cheat, don't do bad thing. Look after family, look after yourself, look after your customers. And my customers are loyal customers, honorable, I respect them. It sounds like the respect goes both ways. Yeah. Uh, my last question for you is uh, if you have any, you know, books that you know, that should, people should read, or that sort of must reads, any titles that you would highly recommend? Uh, okay, for ladies section, I would recommend you, for ladies, Sydney Children, they are very famous. Okay. And uh, for the men, I would recommend James Patterson. James Patterson. Yes. All right. That was so. Those two would be the fiction recommendations. Yes. And uh, you want political history? Well, let me let me make this. Maybe maybe ask a different question. What is your favorite book or your favorite author? Oh, my favorite book. I'm. I like joke books. <laughs> like uh, my good friend is Roy. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Jim Atkinson. He likes Saram Party Girls. Okay. And uh, he. he and I read something. No money, no honey. <laughs> All these I have in my store. So there was one time very famous. So I read something easy. Don't read hard books. I'm morning to evening to talk to customers. All sometimes you talk different things. They will ask you some rubbish question. You have to answer them. 
Sometimes they are very rude. Also, still you have to be patient and talk to customers. <laughs> That's wonderful. You built up a, obviously a loyal following uh, based on customer service and yeah, a lot yeah, of lessons. Yeah. Yes, yes. I have a lot of good, honorable, loyal customers. Like you, you are one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Your girlfriend is one of them. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, you too, Sam. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah.